Welcome to our lecture online. So here, even though we're not using second order differential equations because that would make the whole thing a lot more difficult to show, we're doing it with a first order differential equation, but however, it works exactly the same as with second order differential equations. You can have duality there as well. And notice we're using the very same two circuits that we used in the previous video. So one circuit is the duality of the other circuit. Now, notice what we're going to do. And we throw in a switch, where here where the switch opens at time equals zero, and there the switch has to close at time equals zero, because that one is a duality of the other. So coming up with the equation for the circuit when the switch closes, we have the current going into the node equals the current flowing out of the node through the capacitor and the current flowing out of the node through the resistor. So we have 5 amps going in times the capacitance times the VDT plus the voltage over the resistance as the current through that other branch. Now notice that if you plug in the values, 3 for the capacitor and 10 for the resistor, and we kind of simplify the equation by multiplying everything by 10, we then want to find the transient equation. So we set this equal to 0, and we then divide both sides by 30, so we have this in isolation, dv dt plus v over 30. Then we rearrange, we separate the variables, we have dv over v equals minus 130 over d times dt, we then take the integral of both sides, so this becomes the natural log of V equals minus 130T plus a constant of integration, which is V sub naught, the initial voltage. And so the voltage as a function of time is equal to initial voltage times E to the minus 1 over 30T. Notice that 1 over 30 is the same as minus 1 over RC, which is the time constant, of course, in the RC circuit. Notice the form of that equation. Now, let's take a look at this equation. Once the switch opens, we no longer have a voltage applied, but notice we have minus L di dt minus I times R equals zero. And then if we separate the variables, we end up with di over I equals minus R over L dt. We take the integral of both sides, so the natural log of I equals minus R over L t plus a constant of integration, which is initial current. We then take the anti-log of both sides, we solve for i, and we have i equals i sub naught e to the minus t over L over r. Now notice L over r is the time constant for an LR circuit. And then if we put the numerical value in there, notice we get the exact same format of the differential equation for, and then the solution to the differential equation of this first order dual duality circuit, which works exactly the same for second order. Of course, it's a lot more difficult to come up with the equations and solve it on a single whiteboard like this, but I thought it would be interesting to show you the, the result with a first-order differential equation. And notice how amazing that is. The duality circuit gives you the exact same format of the differential equation, the exact same format as the solution when you put in the numerical values of the components in the circuit. And that's what we mean by the duality circuit. You solve the ones, the, you solve the one equation, and you can solve the equivalent equation just like that. And that is how it's done with duality circuits in first order or second order equations. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> All right, let's call it a day.